Okay, so I'm going to make a video all about my unused journals. This is where I keep them. I keep them in this big box right here. I don't know where I got this box, but probably at like Michael's or Walmart or Target or something. Um, but it's been pretty beat up because it's gone through a lot of journals being in and out. Um, but I'll just start with the ones at the top and work my way down. So my first one here is just an I Want to Believe journal. It says it on the front and the back. I'm not sure where I got it. Um, but if I had to guess, I would probably say like Spencer's or something. Um, it is lined and it has images of um, like the UFO taking someone down. It just looks the same thing as the cover, just without the words. So it's got that slightly printed on each page. I have written in like one or two pages of it but nothing crazy, just like some images here that I like because I was really into collecting pins and stuff. So I just have some stuff there. Um, but yeah, then I switched over to something else because that's what I do. Um, my One of my newest journals that I got is this one. It is from um, the Owl House. It's a kid show, but I really love it. It's like on the same par as like Big City Greens and, and Gravity Falls and all them. Owl House is, is up there too. Um, but it has Bad Girl Coven on the front and the back. It's one of the t-shirts that Ida has. And I got it from Redbubble. And it's just got these like dot grid. It's like a dot grid hybrid inside of them. So I really like it actually. I think it works really nice. Um, the binding is not super great. So for the price you kind of have to like deal with the binding. The price is actually kind of high for what the binding is like, but um, I think the gritting is really nice and the pages are thick enough. Um, and I don't know, I like it. I think it's a good size. It's like a little smaller than an A5, but definitely bigger than an A6. And then my next one I got at a thrift shop. It has a like, it has like a glued on bird. And then it's just lined. Hold on, I wrote in it. Um, it's lined, just basic lines, pretty wide lines. Um, but I did do some writing in here. I went to, I believe this is from when I went to Salem. Um, I'm not entirely sure actually where I went. Yeah, this must have been from Salem. Because it's got all this like cool stuff on it. Um, but yeah. This next one is one that my mom would kill me if she found out I have. It's this Baphomet journal. I got it at Killstar, I believe. I don't think I got it at Shopkill. I think it's from Killstar. But it's called the Book of the Beast 3D Journal in black. And I haven't opened it yet, but um, I believe it's just got basic lines on it. Um, nothing too crazy. Um, it does have a bookmark here. And I just really like it because, like I said, it's like 3D. So it has this part and then the rest of it is kind of like indented and here it's got very textured cover and a very um, kind of basic black back. But I like it. This next one is very embarrassing, but I tried to make a journal for the first time and this is what I came up with. It's very terrible, um, very not well made, um, but I just, I can't, I can't bring myself to throw it away yet. Um, I can't bring myself to throw it away yet, but I like it. I don't know. It's just there. This next one is one that I also made, um, but it's not like the worst, worst thing in the world. It is this one. It has a picture here of a, like, family. If it'll focus, I don't think it'll focus. But there we go. So it's got a family here. Um, and just some floral fabric and then I used some ribbon and I used like hemp wrap to like wrap it all up but it's just got like pretty much craft paper sketch paper or what I watercolor paper um, I put a pocket in here and then I just put some random other pages in there um, but yeah put like a random pocket in here too. I don't know. I attempted I attempted a junk journal and it didn't work out super hot, but it's better than the first one for sure. 
This next one is a traveler's notebook. This is the second one I bought because the first one I bought, which is the exact same one, or almost the exact same one, um, I thought I lost it. And then I found it, so it's in the box too. Um, but this one is my second one. And in here I just have some field note size, I believe, notebooks that are like gridded. Um, and then just some pockets that come with it. Well, that you can buy separately, but I don't know if this if it came with the journal. But it just closes with this little piece on it. Um, and then I have a little Hamsa Evil Eye thing. Um, charm that I think I found in my mom's room, which is pretty cool. Um, this one I got at a Renaissance fair. It is just a cat fabric journal with, like... Hold on, if it'll focus. Come on. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. That's good enough. So it's got like this like very orangey tan, but not like terracotta paper. Um, it definitely looks more like yellowish white on the camera, but on here it's definitely very orange um, in real life, but it's just like a blank notebook. It doesn't have any lines or anything like that. Um, but it does have a enclosure here, and it says Cats About Journal. It was handcrafted in India, um, but somebody sold it at a Renaissance Fair, and I bought it, and I thought it was really adorable. This next one I got at a thrift shop. I don't know how I got so lucky with some of these journals at thrift shops, but it's a handmade journal. Um, opens up here. It's got like leaves on the front, and then it's just like handmade paper. If it'll stay open, I can zoom in. So it's just got like handmade paper, um, which I have like a love-hate relationship for handmade paper. I don't know, but I always try to make it work. Can I do this with one hand? Yes, I can. Perfect. Oh, it's got like a little, I didn't even notice that it had a little like stopper point on the end. That looks kind of like a kite. That's adorable. Anyway, um, this next one is just a Leuchtturm, or Lectrum. I don't know how to pronounce it, but. I think it's a lecture about a moleskin. Oh snap, it's a moleskin. I was gonna say, I like a uh, Loic Charm Lecturms more than moleskins by far. Um, which I know is like blasphemy to some people, but I don't like moleskins. But I have a moleskin for some reason. I always try to make it work and it never works. I always go back to Lecturms. Um, but here's just a Portsmouth, New Hampshire water monkey sticker. This one is just a scream sticker I got when I bought a pin. And then this is from a place, I just call it the MN or MNN. Um, it's just like a bakery, it's like a French bakery place that's really well known for their um, macarons, macaroons. Um, I have written it in a little bit, but it's just like, you know, basic one with like a nice like purplish, grayish tassel. Um, and then this is just my other traveler's notebook, the one I said I thought I lost. I got it, I've got both of these off Amazon. Um, but just pretty pretty basic and empty. And then my next one is one I got in a fountain pen uh, subscription box. I used to do it for like 10 bucks a month. I got like a fountain pen, another pen, and a little notepad or notebook or something like that. And this is um, one of the ones that came in. So this one is from Union Square. It's just blank. Um, it's good like calligraphy, fountain pen paper. I think I tried it out and ripped it out, um, but I believe it works pretty well. Um, like I said though, it's just Union Square, it's a 4x6, um, drawing paper. I like it. And, sorry I paused, but my cat is now in my box. Hi, sweetie. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? Anyway. Uh, next one. Is this one I got at Hot Topic. My cat's in my lap now, so if I move around a lot, I'm sorry. Um, but it is a, stop it, <laughs> it is a uh, Sailor Moon notebook, it's a spiral bound that I got, like I said, at Hot Topic. Um, each section, they're all lined, but each section is um, divided by the different Sailor Girls, as I call them, the Sailor Women. So it's just all of them um, in different dividers. And then the back looks like this. And the pages look like this. I 
like it. Um, this next one I got actually from Macy's. Um, it's just an agenda book, but it's got a pocket here. There's nothing on the back side, um, but there is a pen loop, and it's just got like, I don't know, appointments and stuff. And like dates and like the month. And I can take these out and put my own paper in. Uh, but I just thought this notebook was cute. Just something simple and cute for when I was feeling it. If I can put it back. There we go. These next ones I got at Epcot and a little store at Universal Studios that sold Japanese goods. So at Epcot in Japan, I believe I got... Hold on. Ooh. Yeah, those three. But in the store at Universal Studios, I got this one. It's a Rilakkuma journal. It is a subject notebook, and I wrote in it, I guess, um, but it's just got like big grid, and then it has little grids in each subsection, um, and then that's kind of it. Nothing, nothing too fancy about it. Um, I did write in it a little bit, put some stuff in there. I wrote with fountain pen, so it must have worked fine. I don't, there's ghosting, but no like lead through if that makes any sense so I just have this one and then these ones I got at Epcot in Japan so or well the Japan section and I got it. I've never left the East Coast so I didn't go to Japan but this one is a My Neighbor Totoro one it has these designs on the inside if it, oh yes come on come on I know you can do it that's good enough so it's got that and then the back looks like this um, it's like a nice little little thing. It's adorable. And then I have a Kiki's Delivery Service one, which is my favorite one. Um, I'm losing a train of thought. But it's Kiki's Delivery Service one. It has these designs. Sorry about that. It has these designs on the middle. And then they're lined. And then the back has this design. And they all have like the stamp that means like, hey, this is like Studio Ghibli. Like what's up dude come on come in come in come in come in come in there we go that was like a studio ghibli logo um my cat's on my notebook and then this one this one is also a keys delivery service one i wish they'd have a howl's moving castle one i would have died um but this one's cute too. It has these images on the inside and they all and they say Kiki's delivery service at the top. It's lined and this is the back. I paid $5.95 for it which I consider to be a steal for anything at Epcot. Like oh good my fingerprints go on it. That's nice. Um but for five bucks can't you really can't beat it. Uh, this next one is one I probably got at Barnes and Nobles. It just looks like this. I believe I did write in it. Yes, I did. But it just has some lined pages. And the back looks like this. And then it has an enclosure that has a little bead on the end so you can tighten it. Um, but it's a nice size. I like it. I usually stick with A6 sizes. I try to branch out, but A6 sizes are my normal go-to. Um, speaking of, is this um, being my first uh, ring binder that I ever tried to use. This is an A6 size. I probably got it off Amazon. Um, my friend Autumn, my best friend Autumn, got me these stickers. Um, Katamari Damacy is a great game. If you've never played it, try to play it. They do have an iPod game. iPod. Wow. An iPhone version of it. I don't know if they have it on Android, but it's fantastic. It's not exactly the same as Katamari, but it's it's like an I, iPhone version of what Katamari Damacy would be. It's fantastic. Um, and then I have just a set of that 70s show. Thing, and then I have an LGBT sticker and then the back has Ayazawa from My Hero Academia and then I got my first pair of Vans so I stuck a Vans sticker on here because I felt special. I was like, oh my god, I own a pair of Vans. Wow, I'm 20, almost 23 years old and I finally have my first pair of Vans. I did write in here um, but it's just got these inserts that are gridded, or well, dock gridded. Um, but yeah, I used it for a little bit, and then, if you couldn't tell, my habit is to switch over journals a lot. I do go back to journals, um, so I don't, like, just use a couple pages and then get rid of it forever. I do use them, again. 
Um, this one I got at Staples. I know I wrote in it. I know the paper quality is pretty decent. Um, but it's just a tiny little notebook. It's got lined pages inside. And yeah, just got a little clasp closure. It's a nice, simple one. You know, nothing too crazy. And then out of My Hero Academia book I got at Hot Topic. It has pictures that he drew. And it's just supposed to be like a copy of his notebook that he had in the show. Which is, which is, I like it. Um, it does come with a little pen. I haven't opened it yet, obviously, but I'm excited to use it one day. Next is one I got at Barnes & Noble's for like six bucks. It's one of those like paper tree publishing books. I believe it's by paper tree. Oh, that was my email. I'll cut that out. <laughs> um, but they're, they're lined. Um... Or are they by Flame Tree Publishing? Yeah, Flame Tree Publishing books. Um, Flame Tree. Boop. Get. Get out. We still have these many drills to go. Um, this next one is one I got when I was a kid, and I've had it forever. It is a um, hungry caterpillar spiral notebook. It has those kind of ins it has this kind of uh, inside cover which is like the book and then the first page is blank and then the rest pages are lined um, and then the back looks the same way it has those dots on it again if I can get to it eh. there we go but you know it's just from the mind of Eric Carl pretty cool I'm afraid to use it because it's so adorable, but I will use it one day. This next one I got at Claire's. Um, it's a Hello Kitty journal, and it's got a lock and key on it. And I believe it's just like basic lined with images of Hello Kitty in blue, which is adorable, and it's nice and fluffy. Um, and then the back looks like this. So I have that one, and that one's pretty much like an A5. And then this one I got at like TJ Maxx or Macy's. I couldn't get these two sticker parts off, but. This is um, a pretty interesting book. So it's called Love Triumphants, and it is a book that has a story in it. So the first page is um, the woman and her dog, and then I won't spoil it, but the woman and her the woman meets a man, and she has to send him a letter. So she has the dog send the letter. So each dividing section is an image of what's going on in the book, which I think is pretty cool. So like. This one is the dog trying to give the letter to the man, which is cool. It says peril on the top. Um, so yeah, they each have their own dividing section and then they're just lined. Um, they have like a glossy finish to them. But yeah, I think it's really cute. And it's by um, Architectural Watercolor, Watercolors. Um, if you ever want to grab this for yourself, I think you should. It's a really cool notebook and I can't wait to use it. This next one is one I got at Universal Studios and it is just the Prisoner of Azkaban journal and it is blank but it has like pretend vintage paper design on it so it's got like these like scattered gray dots everywhere to look all vintage and it feels kind of vintage but it's pretty sure it's just like a basic nice paper. Um, yeah, I have that one. Which I don't think you have to be at Universal Studios to grab it. I think you can get it off like Amazon or Barnes and Nobles or something like that. These next ones came with a pack of three, but I only have two of them right now, and then I think the third one's also in the box somewhere. But they're Rugrats, uh, lock and key journals. I love Rugrats. I love lock and key journals. I love journaling, so I was like, this is a win all the way around. So this one is. Angelica, Tommy, and their dog, whose name I don't remember, kind of, she's running away, he's running away from the bee, that kind of stuff, and then the back is, um, Chucky, so it has all those characters, and then this one's just Tommy with the, you know, spray of the milk, kind of like the beginning scene, and then it has that in it as well, and the pages are lined, I can show you a page once I find the other one, oh, here we go, so this is the other one, it's Angelica and Tommy, Reptar, um, Angelica and Lil, and then the journal looks like this on the inside, and this particular one, I don't know if the other ones look the same, but 
this is what the inside of this one looks like and I did draw I did write in this one I'm just trying to get it out of focus so you don't like read my stuff but I did write in it um, and I don't remember it being terrible and the pages don't automatically rip out so I consider it a win um, my next one is when I got it like one of those stores where they buy other stuff that stores are getting rid of and then they sell it it's one of those kind of stores um, it's like a second hand second hand first hand store second chance store I don't know but it says record book here it's spiral by Herald Square and it's just got line pages in it I love it it looks very 1980s to me and you know that I'm a big big old baby about 80s and 70s stuff so I had to get it this one I got at Water Monkey in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. It is just a handmade journal with handmade paper on the inside and stitching from the back to the inside covers. Um, it's like a standard traveler's notebook size, which I'm not super comfortable using, but I, th I thought this journal would be a good way to try it out instead of like getting a traveler's notebook because it is pretty much like the same size as like a traveler's notebook in terms of like width. This next one is a Beetlejuice notebook. I have two Beetlejuice notebooks. One I got at GameStop, one I got at Hot Topic. This is the one I got at Hot Topic. It has a fountain pen in it. It's the Pilot Petite One, I believe. I think, where does it say it? Hold on. It's not gonna focus, but it says Pilot Petite One on here. Okay, so it's not going to focus, but it's this pile of tea. <laughs> anyway, I have it in green and pink because I thought I lost the pink one, so I got a green one, or vice versa, and then I found it, so now I have two. But it's divided, um, just like the Sailor Moon one, um, and then it has the images on it, and then different images are on the inside as well. Um, so it says like Beetlejuice and all that good stuff. Has stickers on the back, which is cool. Eh. And then that's what the inside looks like. So I have that one. I'll just keep the pen in there just for aesthetic purposes. It looks cute. So there's that one. And then the next one is this one I got at a thrift shop. They were it's like a local artist um, section, a little tiny spiral, like two-way type thing. Um, so it's just like a nice little lined book. Um, I think I wrote in it. No, I didn't. Um, I think I had another one that I wrote in, but I liked it. Um, I thought it was adorable. Got it for like, probably like two bucks. Not bad. And then here's my other recently deceased one, which I got at GameStop for like seven bucks. It was on sale. It looks more like a recently deceased book, but the only thing about it is that it has blank pages. I'm more of a graph page person, um, lined if I have to be, but blank intimidates me a whole hell of a lot so that's why it's taken me so long to use this journal but it's just like a nice blank paper journal um, the pages are pretty thick so I think it'll do well and then this one I got at Target we're almost done I swear um, this one just says records and then it has like the subject the month the day lines and then this is the oops sorry the ribbon closure is right here um, and each middle section has this kind of bleep sign on it. And then, eh, hold on. Oh, the front and the back both have more just information, like the time. My phone, my uh, camera keeps cutting out, so I'm sorry. But we only have like, what, one, two, three, four, five, maybe, journals left. This one is a sketchbook. Um, if you watched, I really badly made, um, completed journals um, collection. You saw that I have this one in that container too. I got two of them. Um, it's just what it is. It's sketchbook paper blank. Um, works really well with like watercolors and markers and stuff like that with Copics or Copics or whatever. You ha do have to tape two, two, maybe three pages together just to keep bleed out from the back. Um, which, I mean, with Copics it's 
it's gonna happen with any paper but um, it's not bad it's a pretty inexpensive sketchbook and I thought it was really cute it's got like a picture of a tree on it and it says um, art education book five on the top here you can't read it but it says art education and then it's a sketchbook and it's really dirty because cat hair so keep in mind about that this next one I got at Redbubble if you've ever watched the birdcage you uh, earned some major brownie points with me because I love the birdcage it's my second favorite movie of all time, um, but it has Starina on it, who is amazing. And then it's just got the that like hybrid gridding that I showed you in the um, Owl House book. So it's just got like that kind of paper in it. I believe I used it for a couple days. Uh, yeah, I used it a little bit, so I have like my hero sticker, TV sticker, alien stuff. Why not? Notes for reading. Like, I don't know. And then this is my A5 spiral book. I tried decorating it. Didn't really work out. It's got like graph paper on the inside. You can't really see, but it's dot grid. Um, and yeah, it's just like one of that holographic y type one. It's flimsy and, you know, does its job. These next two I got at Spencer's for five bucks each because they're on sale it is the devil music sing-along and the don't talk to strangers journal they're both lined um, and they both say like Stephen Rhodes on the inside because that's obviously who created this imagery um, but yeah I have those two and then my last one is just a standard size traveler's notebook um, cover and with like old traveler's notebook inserts that are standard size that I never used um, but I got this at like Michael's I think or Hobby Lobby but I thought it was cute and that's it. it's empty my cat found her place and um, this is all of my unused journals that I will eventually use and then put in this bucket right here please pardon my messy table I hope you didn't see that but um yeah that's about it so thank you and have a good rest of your day